President Biden also signed off on something that affects us here locally, revoking the permit granted to the Keystone XL pipeline. Ken's 5 News reporter Mariah Medina explains what that means for the oil and gas industry in Texas. There certainly has been a lot of controversy associated with it. In his first day in office, President Joe Biden rescinded permission to finish construction on a segment of the Keystone XL pipeline. The move drawing concerns that this could raise your prices at the gas pumps. If, if oil prices go to $4 a gallon, it will be for other reasons than the fact that the Keystone isn't under construction. UTSA professor Tom Tunstall says the reason we're seeing a rise in gas prices right now is due to other nations curtailing their own production. Jamie Court, the president of the nonpartisan group Consumer Watchdog, says this could even lower your gas prices. No, I actually think it, it, it would be uh, probably beneficial in the short term for gas prices because um, it gives more security to the Midwest refiners knowing that the portion of the pipeline that's being used now to bring crude into the Midwest refineries can be used in the future. Senator John Cornyn in a statement today disagreed, saying this hurts Texas energy workers. Though the Consumer Watchdog report cited by President Barack Obama's administration in 2015 when he halted the project says the number of jobs expected to be created was exaggerated. America wins uh, if you're a worker if you're uh, a driver and you want cheaper gas prices, and if you are uh, a, a, someone who's concerned about climate change, uh, you win. Tunstall estimates it would take fewer than 40 permanent employees to run the pipeline. As far as construction jobs go, three they're construction jobs, and so by definition, they're temporary. The short of it? In the near term, there's little or no impact with regard to the Keystone decision. Mariah Medina, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.